Hello, my name is Gevork. I'm a systems engineer at Bitlisman. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the smart water distribution training system. The aim of this platform is to help to understand the structure of the water distribution system, its components, and how it operates in different conditions. Let's see what the platform consists of. Here we have a small water distribution setup that includes water reservoir, upper water tank with a water level meter, pumps with VFD drives, manually and remotely controllable valves, water flow meters, pressure meters, pipeline with different branches, and a SCADA software that monitors and controls the entire system. Through pump 1, we pump the water to the upper tank. From the upper tank, we supply the water to the system. Here we can have the gravity flow, or use the pump 2 to simulate more pressurized water flow. In the system, we have different branches. And here we have small diameter valves that simulate consumers. The system allows to monitor the pressure difference between the input and output of the pumps. Here we have also a double pump, which simulates pump redundancy in the system. At the end, all the water flows back to the water reservoir to form a closed loop system. I have already implemented the physical connections, so let's run the system. Now, when the system is running, let's see what we have inside the SCADA software. In the home screen, we have the whole single line diagram of our system. Here we can monitor the statuses of the pumps and valves and see some measurement data. When we go to the control section, here we can control the VFDs and the remotely controllable valves. We have two types of valves, solenoid and analog. Now we can start the pump 1 to pump the water to the upper tank. This process has two modes, manual and auto. In manual mode, the user controls the pump. In auto mode, the system controls the pump automatically, having the water level signal from the upper tank as a feedback. This way, the system adjusts the power of the pump to always have water in the upper tank, regardless of the consumption. We can also turn on the other pumps and manipulate with the valves to control the water flow through the system. In the waveform section, we can monitor all the measurement data on the graph. This system is designed in a way that it can also run with the OpalRT's HL systems to investigate different cyber attacks on a modeled water distribution system. By simulating the cyber attacks, the users can see how the water distribution model behaves and how it heals itself during different emergencies. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check other products. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.